Not too far away from China, another regime is putting Chinese tactics to use. I'm talking about Iran. The Iranian regime is working overtime to prevent a new round of civil unrest. Iran has intensified efforts to silence dissenting voices. It is trying to inject fear into the minds of its citizens. In the next four minutes, we'll understand how. First things first, Iran is erupting in anger. The Islamic Republic has been rocked by a fresh wave of anti-government protests in recent weeks. Why now? Because the economy is in very bad shape. The government has failed to fix it and the people are suffering. They're angry. Remember, Iran's economy has shrunk considerably since 2018, thanks mostly to American sanctions. They've been hurting. And this pandemic has only aggravated Iran's economic woes. It has re reduced exports. There's been a sharp devaluation of currency, rising inflation and the increasing unemployment. All these issues together have become major flashpoints. Iranians from all walks of life are suffering and now they are protesting. And the Iranian regime is using a familiar tactic to prevent mass unrest. Oppression. Iranian authorities are dismantling any civil society organization that could provide support for protesters. They're making mass arrests. They're labeling protesters as perpetrators of crime and sentencing them to death. Well, this is what happened to three young Iranian men, three individuals who had the entire country rallying behind them. You must know their names. 26-year-old Amir Hussein Moradi, 28-year-old Mohammad Rajabi, and 26-year-old Saeed Tamjidi. Their images are on your screen. All three of them were recently sentenced to death. What was their crime? They participated in anti-government protests in 2019. So they've been sentenced to death. The Iranian regime basically wanted to make an example out of them, to curb the current unrest, to show protesters what they could face. The message to the people of Iran was clear. If you revolt, you die. Too bad the message backfired. It triggered a revolt on the Iranian social media. The civil society in Iran began an online campaign to get their death sentence quashed. Almost the entire country raised its voice in favor of these three young men. And the tool they used was a hashtag. Hashtag don't execute. It found a mention in more than 70 lakh tweets in Persian and English. 70 lakh, that's 7 million tweets for one story. And this includes tweets by Iranian actors, by journalists, athletes, students, activists, people from all walks of life. All of them came together in an unprecedented campaign to halt the, the execution. And this campaign made international headlines. Such was its impact that on the 16th of July, the United Nations issued a statement. A statement which condemned Iran's decision to uphold death sentences for protesters. Allow me to quote what the UN said. Today we join hundreds of thousands of Iranians on social media who condemn these death sentences. We urge the head of the judiciary to immediately quash the decision and grant a prompt and independent judicial review. And guess what? These efforts by protesters and global bodies to stop the death sentence did not go in vain. On the 18th of July, there came a rare acknowledgement of popular dissent. It was by a certain Ali Rabei, a prominent government spokesperson in Iran. He wrote a column in a newspaper, the Iran newspaper, the mouthpiece of the Iranian regime. And in this column, he called the movement a civil action by citizens trying to be heard. He called on government figures to hear the people's quote-unquote straightforward call. The fallout was this. Two days later, on the 19th of July, Iran's Supreme Court stayed the execution of all the three men. It revoked their death sentence. It agreed to examine their application for a retrial. So here's the bottom line. Popular uprisings are not new in Iran. The country has seen prolonged periods of unrest several times in the past. But the latest bout of unrest seems different. 
the way the Iranian regime has backtracked on a death sentence has made it abundantly clear that it is nervous. And civil unrest is just one aspect of its growing nervousness.